Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and um, in version 2004 or the May 2020 update, one of the features that was already there, it's already, um, it was already in Windows, um, but it's greatly improved, is really the ability to choose what graphics GPU a desktop app uses. But you need to know where they are and that's probably the most complicated thing for anyone that is really not uh, very tech savvy. For a lot of people, it's it's simple, but for a lot of people, it's not. And here I will attempt to um, kind of guide you in this uh, process. So for multiple graphics uh, machines, like this gaming laptop I have as the Intel graphics adapter and an NVIDIA graphics adapter. The NVIDIA is, of course, much more um, powerful. It gives more performance. And even though normally with pre-installed drivers, games tend to choose the correct one in general, it happens that some games do not. It happens that maybe you have an app that would actually benefit from using the more powerful GPU, but when you actually use it, you have the impression that it's not. And it happens quite a lot. So in Windows settings, you can choose what graphics GPU a desktop app will use. Simply go to the settings. Go into system. In the display settings at the bottom, you have something called graphics settings. In here, you have choose an app to set preferences and here you have desktop apps and Microsoft Store apps. With Microsoft Store apps, it's easy because you can choose the app directly and that is really nice because you can immediately say, I want that to use that adapter, that graphics GPU. Problem is on desktop apps, it's different. You got to browse to the location of the executable. That is where it's darn uh, complicated for anybody that's not really used to this file system and where things are saved. For the most part, when you install a desktop app, you've noticed that it tells you where it's installing. And a lot of people just cl click next and don't really look at it. And that is where it's important. If you do install an app that you want to use with the um, more performant graphic GPU, you need to observe where it's installing. But for the most part, just remember one thing. Most of the time, they install on this PC, on a C drive, and they will either be in program files or program files x86, depending on if it's a 32 or 64 bit app. And what you do is you go and you go to the uh, app that you want the GPU to be used. So I'll use here a uh, Stellarium, which is a uh, astronomy program. And you will try to find the executable. So by default, so little yellow uh, folders are really folders with other stuff inside. What you need to find is, and I'll extend this, to, what you need to find what is running the program. So here, Stellarium, application, this is what I want. You just choose this, I choose add. Once you choose add, you have options. Let Windows decide, power saving using the Intel GPU in my case, or I want it to use high performance GPU, and I'll click save. This means every time that I start Stellarium now, it will actually, by default, use the more performant GPU. So you got to know where the executable is, and that's probably the most complicated or the most complex task in certain cases. Um, you can, if you have the icons on your desktop, for example, let me just put icons on my desktop, for example, if I didn't know where it was, 
the icon of Stellarium is here. I could have right clicked. Well, if you leave your um, mouse pointer, it tells you actually that it's in C program file Stellarium. So you can have a hint here, or you can just go to properties by right clicking on it. And it tells you where uh, the target is. So it's in program file C program file Stellarium in this case. So that's how you find it. But I got to say that one of the things I'd like to see in the uh, settings for the GPU of the desktop app would be an option where all the installed programs are listed and a browse functionality for whatever is extra. So hope that uh, you'll uh, be able to choose what GPU uh, a desktop app on your PC can use. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.